I, I always have loved Christmas music. The one record that um, basically I, I feel like it's my nostalgic record is that Emmy Lou Harris, Light of the Stable, is one that my parents used to play when I was a little girl. And wow. I just was always such a huge fan of her. And so that's, that record is gorgeous. I love the Alvin and the Chipmunks record. That one was a huge, big <laughs> yeah. hit for us kids and then um the the peanuts christmas that one do you know that record sure oh yeah we play yeah. it hey. so yeah huge huge christmas music fan so is blake and so for us to be able to write our own song that actually got on the radio it's a true christmas miracle i it's like we are the most unlikely like mixture of music you know what i'm saying like no doubt and blake shelton i don't really understand how that goes together but we did it. We wrote a song together, and it's it's just so – and it's upbeat and fun, and it really represents, I think, both of us. So it's a pretty exciting time for me. Hey, can you give us a little sneak peek of, of what this special is going to be all about? You have a lot of funny people on the show, for one. Uh, well, is- I think when we were trying to put it together, and believe me, this is not something I ever thought I would do. So I was like, <laughs> what? You're going to give me my own TV special? This is crazy. I just wanted it to feel like – that family time where we were little and it would be like, hurry up, get your homework done. It's, we're going to watch a show together, <laughs> you know, like, mm-hmm. and it, once you watch that show, you start getting that feeling like it's coming, like it is Christmas time. Like I better get my gifts. And just that nostalgic feeling and traditional feeling where all, all your family's watching together. And so I was going back and watching like Donnie and Marie Christmas and share oh, yeah. and just trying to get myself like on board of what it could be. It's like a variety show of just, comedy and fashion and music and and just that cheerful kind of that something that everybody can watch together basically so that's 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 all i can say about it i mean it's kind of everything i love music fashion and fun (laughs) that's uh, tonight at uh, nine on uh, channel eight nbc looking at the track list for the new uh the new um, uh, album it's about a 50 50 mix of really traditional songs and the new songs including the one you and blake did uh, called You Make It Feel Like Christmas. What what great traditional Christmas song did you really want to get on the album but couldn't? Oh, that's a super good question. Really good question. So when I made the list of, like, the covers, I haven't done that many covers. It's My Life was the only song that No Doubt really covered. And and I'll, after being on The Voice, you really learn that doing a cover is quite challenging because you're competing with the original, and that's what all we do on that show is figure out how to do a cover that make it feel like you. You know what I mean? So... Um, I just basically made a list of things. I didn't even think hard about it, but I did want to do a song called Light of the Stable that was on the Emmy Lou Harris record. And when I started trying to sing it, I literally was like, Gwen Stefani, you're about ready to ruin Christmas. Oh, no. You need to stop, step away from that song. (laughs) And and so that one got dropped. And then I wasn't going to do Santa Baby and I wasn't going to do Jingle Bells, but I guess as I started writing and figuring out what the original songs were going to be, because you don't know until you write them, um, it, I just was like, I think I need a fun, like, kid song. So I added Jingle Bells last minute, and then the other one was, what did I just say it was? <laughs> I can't think right now. But Jingle Bells. Oh, yeah, Santa Baby. Santa Baby. That was because yep. Eric Valentine, who was one of the producers that – see, this record was made in a very – old-fashioned, traditional way, the same way that records were made like back in the 60s where you have all live musicians, believe it or not, people that have been working on their craft their whole life come together and play all at the same time. And everything's mic'd and everything's real. And it's really expensive because you have to have like string sections that come in. You mean these are like a room full of people playing all at the same time. So it was pretty magical um, way to make a record. And you can't get that sound unless you do that. You know what I mean? So... We, he's the one that said you got to do Santa Baby if you're going to do it in this style. So I was like, okay, you know, sure. And who knew it was going to feel so good to do? I had so much fun doing that song. Well, we're really looking forward to the special tonight, a one-hour NBC Christmas special. Gwen Stefani's "You Make It Feel Like Christmas." Let's play the song with you and Blake. Well, go ahead and introduce it on on Portland's Christmas station K103. Okay, hey, what's up? It's Gwen Stefani. You are about ready to hear my new Christmas song that I wrote with Blake Shelton. This is called You Make It Feel Like Christmas. 